Hi guys, uh, really super quickly, I just wanted to do a quick video on how to attach these things to your hammer drill. Um, I know it seems really simple, but it took me a really long time to figure it out, and I haven't seen any videos on how to do it. So you get this in your hammer drill kit, right? And you have your hammer drill, right? And you want to affix this to the hammer drill. So what I've learned is if you want to use this pen, and I actually recommend putting it in and just leaving it on the hammer drill, and I'll show you why, this helps is a stopper, and it helps you measure the distance between the actual drill bit as it goes in the wall and when you need to stop, okay? Um, in the past, I put this in here, right? And then I fixed it, um, and I wasn't able to get this in. Reason is you have to put this in before. So I'm gonna put this in now, just so you guys know, in case you guys do wanna use this, I highly recommend it. If not, it's just gonna be along the side of your drill bit. I think it's totally worth it. You decide where you wanna put it in. I actually put it in, there's like numbers on here, and it starts at five. So I, I just put it in with the like side with no numbers and it ends at 20. I see no point in starting at 20. It just doesn't make sense to me. So I, I'm putting this in, right? Oh no, wait, first, when you get it, it's like this, right? So it's closed. And I kept trying to put this on top and it wouldn't fit. So what I learned is you have to turn this knob, turn it, and there's a screw up here with a plate underneath. The plate's really important, don't lose a plate. So when you screw this, you see how it's coming off? The screw on top is getting loose and it comes off and then you see the bottom of the screw. I push the screw out with the plate, don't lose a plate, you need this plate, it's really important. It, it keeps the screw in and it keeps it centered and you, you'll see this is really important. And then I'm able to like move this and pick this up, right? So what I do is I fix it to my hammer drill. Now I personally like the hammer drill at a 90 degree angle like this. So I can go like this. Some people like it like this. So you're gonna fix it in whatever way it works for you. I feel like this is better if you're chiseling and going through concrete on like a, a little bit more of a commercial level, even though this is more for like domestic, like home repairs and stuff. Um, I tend to go like this because I'm doing a lot of um, like putting up shelves and stuff and just drilling holes for like TVs and things like that and I need the control this way. I don't need it this way because I'm not trying to get through the wall because I'm doing like massive construction. I, I just need control to keep this straight. So I put mine like this. Then you take the metal tube and you just put it through the hole where it goes. Right, and the reason you do it before you put this screw on is because the plate that goes on here will literally, if it lies flat, I'm just gonna show you, it goes like this, right? If you, you can see right, oh there you go. You could see right through the hole, right? Let me just put this in. I'm putting the screw in with the plate. Now you see how, can you see it? You see how there's like a little, maybe you can't. Okay, it's clear. And then I put this in. The plate actually blocks this. I can't get it in. It won't go, well, no I can because it's loose. Because this is loose. But like before I wasn't able to. So it's important for you to loosen it, to take this off and then put this in. Um, I actually like to put it in without the screw, but this just worked every time I mention thing now. So now I'm putting this in, right? Just like that. And then I'm gonna put it at the top of my drill. I'm gonna align it. There are like little ridges on your drill. Let me show you. There are little ridges here, you see the holes? And then there's ridges on the top of your drill. I try to align it so that they fix into each other. That's for a more secure hold, right? So now they're, they're fixed into each other. I have this tube thing in, which is adjustable later. The screw is in with the plate, which is really important because the plate, the way that it's put in, keeps it steady and allows you to, um, to have that strength. And then I'm gonna take the bottom, put it back in, center it with that, and then just twist it. until it's really, 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 really tight. And now everything is working together. Now the only negative about this is once it's in, it's hard to move this thing. It's really hard. So in order to move it, you need to loosen this, 
a little bit and then you can move this. Does that make sense? So once you tighten it, it's pretty, it's pretty tight. So when I'm not using it, I try to keep it back here. Keep it wherever you want, but because of the way that it's in my bag, I try to keep it aligned with the drill where it's at the end and that's it. And then when I do need it, whenever I put the drill bit in and I see how far I need to go, then I'll push it forward so that it can work as a stopper and then I'll tighten it up again. But right now I'm just gonna put it back into its original position because I'm putting this away. I'm gonna tighten this, right? And I'm gonna put this back in my bag. But I just wanted to show you guys how to do that because nobody ever taught me and I think it's important to know that. <laughs> Thanks.